Hello everyone, uh, this is Tarek from Funnel Clear. So let's uh, check out the demo for QuickFunnels shopping cart or add to cart feature. So here I have just uh, added three products. So you can, you can, if you are using ecom funnels or t shirt funnel or whatever physical product funnel, you can just uh, design your own. Um, storefront type funnel then you can add a uh, different page um, uh, for uh, product details and also you can add um, um, you can showcase your product um, whatever however you like then all you need to do is just use my script and let's see um, uh, um, how it works so uh, if you click on this uh, yes add to card um, your product will be added into card and you'll be able to uh, uh, check how it looks like in order page. So let's say uh, I'm adding two products. So if you uh, click on this checkout now, or if you want, you can remove this product from here. Uh, if you just click on this remove button, your your product will be removed from the card. And also, uh, let's uh, add this again. And also, here's a button for clear your entire card. So if you click on this clear card, um, everything will be gone. So let's see how it looks like in order page so I'm, I'm just adding two product now and let's see how it looks like in checkout so I um, so let's say you have uh, four or five products so also you have like I want to uh, create a separate page for uh, product details so uh, from here you can uh, link to your product details page and then you can add my script into that page from where they'll be able to uh, click on add to card and they'll be able to see this checkout button it appears on you uh, add, add something into your card so now so I, I, I've used a two-step order form so let's see how it looks like So uh, when we go to uh, step two, as we had uh, selected two products, so you can see only two product uh, inside um, order form. Also, uh, you can see the product quantity uh, by default one is selected as uh, as we uh, added a product into our card. So by default, uh, one product is selected, and you can see the uh, description um, order summary uh, with the product description and quantity uh, from here you can also increase quantity or decrease if you want I have limited it to five products uh, 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 for um, five product quantities for each of the products so if, uh, if you want you can add more I, um, all you need to do is just customize the script a bit that's it so here you can see uh, when he, uh, increase the product quantity you can see the uh, price is updating updating at or summary element also you can um, add multiple bump or single bump so I, I here i've used just a single order bump so here you can see you can uh, increase or decrease the um, product quantities just by clicking on this plus or minus button so so let's see how it looks like um, if you add three products. So let's say is it the card on this and open uh, checkout page on another tab and let's see how it looks like. So whenever you are uh, selecting or adding a product into your card, you will be able to uh, see all those products selected by default in, inside your order page. So and also you can uh, increase or decrease product quantities so based on your um, uh, design or um, storefront uh, funnel type you can actually use this script uh, uh, as per your uh, requirements or how you want to showcase your product inside your funnel so that's it